So today I'm going to be answering some more of your questions. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Atreyu Lux channel. Hi, I'm Atreyu, a semi free farmer who is dedicated to bringing you guys the best tips to grow a healthy set of locks. If this is your first time, make yourself comfortable. I am glad to have you. The first question comes from It's Broly. After washing, I dry them a little bit, but use moisturizer and tea tree oil and stuff back in there. Is that bad? And I would say it depends on the moisturizer, you know, as long as you can rinse it or wash it out, then you should be good. Obviously, you know, when you moisturize your hair by wetting your hair, one way that you can retain the moisture for longer is by using an oil, which is why people use moisturizers, right? Um, and usually a moisturizer is some combination of water and oil, right? It's not the oil that's doing the moisturizing, as I'm sure you know, it's the water, but the oil helps to prolong the moisturizing effect that the water will have because it won't be able to evaporate escape from the hair strands as quickly okay so yeah as long as it washes all out you should be good all right the next comment comes from black queen mars this person says my locks have begun to grow past my ears and i'm a bit more than a year in but i want to get long locks although i'm going to miss my short locks a little bit because they are so easy to care for and plus they look so good when they're short and i already responded to this person but yeah I feel like most lockers, especially newbies, they they miss the forest for the trees. They are so focused on having long locks that they can't, that they don't take the time to enjoy the shorter phases because uh, those phases are really awesome. And yes, the locks, comparatively speaking, are much easier to take care of. Now, they may not feel like they're much easier to take care of because oftentimes if you have shorter locks, that means that you're, you're more inexperienced and so you you're panicking more right but say if I was to cut my locks and I started with short locks short locks would be so much easier <laughs> for me to um, handle than my longer locks in terms of like the maintenance that I do when I do it uh, because I already know what to do I have the knowledge and so now just working with you know shorter locks it's cake you know so I'm happy that Black Queen Mars that you can you stop to smell the roses you can appreciate what you have while also looking forward to having long locks. And if you keep your locks, you'll definitely have those long locks one day, so stick with it. The next comment comes from Hawkeye's Outlook. All right, and this was under my video about whether or not, whether or not locks have energy. She left a long comment saying, first let me say I enjoy your channel, thank you. And yes, your hair does hold energies. Okay, so she's answered the question for me. Obviously that's her opinion, but she believes it, so thank you. Um, my family is Choctaw. My apologies if that's an incorrect, incorrect pronunciation. One way I used to get the build up of energies out of my locks is I will smudge my locks then go out in the sun which helps with clearing them of any negative energies. As I was called to increase my energy work, yes, I noticed that my hair was holding more energy which would cause me head pain I assume. I could not handle my hair as it would burn my hands. As my spiritual growth increased, the energies increased in my locks have very curly hair and I am going into my eight years of being locked however some of my locks are still curly so at one point I decided to pull the curly end out of more of my lock ends I know this is for everyone I think she means I know this is not for everyone but releasing some of my end to control the energy build up okay that makes sense if you have more questions regarding energy or spiritual advancement look for me on my IG page love light love and light namaste okay well thank you um, oh guys, outlook. Obviously, you know much more about locks and their ability to hold energy than I do. So I appreciate you leaving this comment, and uh, yeah, hopefully it can help anyone else that might be wondering if their locks have energy and just wanted to learn more about it. So thank you. All right, the next comment comes from Na Word. My hair grows away from my locks and forms new ones. Yeah, that's good. When I talk about the problems of hair growing away from your locks. It's not what the new hairs are doing that's the problem, right? It's good that they're growing in the form of the new locks, but it's it's about what they're they're leaving the locks that they should be in, the effect that that's having on those locks, which is thinning. So you're looking at it with the glass half full, and yeah, more power to you. I'm happy that it works for you, not word. All right, the next one 
comes from Jay Blaze. This person says, how do you keep your hair from going away from your lap? If you figure that out, you let me know. <laughs> hey, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload. How about that? Because I've had locks for eight years and yeah, my hair still grows away from some of my locks. I think it's just the type of texture and hair growth cycles. I think it's this mixture of factors that leads to someone who has hair that grows away from your locks. Obviously there are things that you can do to mitigate that happening, like using the braid technique, like interlocking, things like that, that will keep the hairs in the locks for longer and direct the hair into the lock. But in terms of just flat out, you know, doing something one day and then the next day never ever having any strands grow outside of your locks, I don't know that that's possible. All right, the next one comes from Congo50. I don't know why, but the timing and execution of the bell sound effect made me laugh. LOL, I love you for the by the way. Well, thank you, Gladwick Boss, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's cute. All right, the next question comes from Darlene Lynch. Person says, hello, by doing this technique, will it make my locks thin? How often should I do this to my locks? So this was in reference to the reducing frizz. First of all, I would never put up a video that would suggest that you do something that would harm your locks or make them thin in terms of like being fragile, right? It's simply to reduce the frizz and it will give the appearance of a thinner look because those that frizz will be ushered into the lock versus just, you know, frizzing out on the surface of the lock. So it doesn't, it won't harm your locks, okay? It'll just give them a more clean cut look. Um, and then how often should I, you should do it however often you think you need to do it. Remember guys, and a lot of you guys are new, but I don't like to be legalistic about things, okay? Um, and it's important for you to figure out these things for yourselves, right? Because what works for my hair may not necessarily work for your hair. We have quite likely two different textures and so, you know, I could make a suggestion, but it's kind of arbitrary with respect to you and what your hair needs because I have no idea what type of hair you have, what type of hair you're working with. That's just like for me, I can retwist water and that's fine. It holds for like two weeks and I'm good to go. Not that I care about the frizz that much anyway, but other people, you know, they like, when they try retwisted water, it doesn't work for them, you know? It doesn't even hold like a couple of days. So it's kind of useless for me to try to prescribe you a frequency with which to do whatever fill in the blank try it out for yourself and then figure it out for yourself just like I had to do and just like every other locker will eventually have to do whether or not they get that initial advice from someone they're still gonna try it and then it'll either work for them or most likely not work for them and they'll have to make adjustments okay all right the next comment comes from Chrissy mud puppy she says the only hair near my edges grows away from my locks, interlock those sections. Okay, good, I'm glad you found a solution. And yeah, for me, it's just the ones that are, um, you know, near the perimeter as well that, I, that are problematic. The next comment comes from Tanya Russell. I recently tried this technique and I think it works for me. It's the braid technique that she's referring to. Happy to hear that, but not surprised because it is an awesome technique. Thank you, Yanni the Lockologist. All right. The next message comes from Kathy Flanagan, Grand Rising King, powerful message. Wishing you continued and all these emoticons. Namaste. Thank you so much, Kathy. It was in response to my religion spirituality video. So, oh yeah, and then she also leaves, left another comment under my why I don't show my glory video. Uh, basically my locks and she says hi king even though this video is dated 10 months ago just now watching it i hope all is well in your world now but i would still like to send you healing energy well thank you i celebrated my one year lock anniversary on 11 17 22 as part of my spiritual journey and the process of aging gracefully um congrats for one on that uh lock anniversary that's exciting i remember when, i remember celebrating my one year and it was amazing um and yeah, I'm all about, you know, aging gracefully. I think that's a very cool concept. And I feel like it's probably kind of novel in this day and age because, you know, everybody's trying to stay young and just continue looking young. So um, I, I commend you for your pursuit to age gracefully. I think we all should do that because it's something that we can't escape and we'll have to do 
I'll be a gracefully or not one day anyway, right? <laughs> I've started to cover my locks and can relate to some of your reasons for doing so. Thank you for sharing. Wishing you how the emoticons again. Namaste. Namaste to you as well. Thank you, Kathy. I feel so much peace even just, you know, resting my eyes on your message. So I can tell you the real deal. All right. Next one comes from Aurelia Laidley. She says, hi, I'm new here. Thanks for the video. You're welcome. I'm coming into two years locked and did the same thing and I'm experiencing the same thing. Now, I know the solution. I was thinking I needed to cut off and start again. So glad your video stopped me. You're awesome. Since this is six years old, would love a follow-up of your lots. Watch my most recent videos. Granted, they're not out in this video, but yeah, just keep watching the videos. I don't post as much as I used to, but that's how to get the follow-up. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, can't see, she was uh, referring to my lock repair video. You know, the one where I have I'm wrapping the the hair that grows away from my locks around the lock before I knew, you know, about that phenomenon, before I knew about the braid technique and stuff. So, um, and then obviously she went to another video more recent, so she saw that, and I'm still making videos, and she gave me an applause and stuff. And then on that same video she wrote, I'm learning what to do. Very good. I have fine fluffy hair. My roots are fairly thin, while the rest of my locks are somewhat thick. I believe I have the issue you had, and I'm glad to find a way to help them. I assume she's referring to the hair growing away from the locks. They are growing moderately fast, but I'm concerned for their health and longevity. I see now after two videos, you're on to something. I'll be binge watching this weekend. <laughs> uh, 100% couple of different smiley faces, lol. Thanks again, smiley face with hearts. Uh, you're very welcome, I really. I'm happy that the videos seem to be helping you, and yeah, I think I'm on to something. I mean, I still got my locks. They're still healthy. It's been eight plus years. So yeah, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try it out and see if it also works for you. Thanks for taking the time to write me and watch so many of my videos. I've been more so focused on my crochet channel as of late because I'm really getting a lot of interaction and requests on that page. And it's still, I, I really, it's going to surpass even this lock channel. Uh, pretty soon so I need to devote more time to it but whenever I can get back to the Slack channel I do as is the case with this video today so if you choose to love do so unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all this is Atreya Locks and I will see you next time peace